Now we're going to write the player class. And the player is going to have cards, uh, but this is where the logic of the game goes. Or I should say the logic of what the player does uh, is going to go. Let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be a new Java class, and this is player. And so paste all that in. I thought they were missing a closed bracket, no problem. Or I should say closed curly brace. <clears throat> so this constructor does very little. It just sets the two uh, fields above. You can ignore a lot of the warnings. It says the field name can be final because you only set it one time. We don't change it later. Uh, hand, it says, can be final also. Uh, I would agree that the name can probably be final. Uh, but the hand... Final doesn't mean the object itself can't change. It just means once you set hand, once you set hand to a new hand... Uh, you can't then set hand to a different hand, but you could absolutely call all the methods that modify hand, like add card, remove card, to string, all that. Uh, but you couldn't then reset this dot hand to be a different hand object. So it may make sense to make hand final, but I'm not sure. Uh, but I, I'm okay making the name final because I'm not going to change the player's name, not in the middle of the game, at least. Obviously, between games, players' names can change. All right, so we have a method called play that returns a card. Let's paste that in here. Alt Shift F. All right, so first of all, you notice we don't have an eights object. Uh, so that's an issue. Uh, we also don't have a search for match. So this play method decides which card to play during each turn. Because what we're building is starting to be more complicated, I'm going to add some Java docs here. Decides which card to discard each turn. Okay. Turn, this is probably the discarded card. Okay, we need the search for match, uh, which is sort of an equals method, except it's going to find a card, hopefully. All right, let's see what this does. This looks through all the cards in the hand And one at a time, now this is not remove card, this is get card. So it's gonna look one at a time and it's gonna see if the card matches uh, whatever card was sent in here. All right, so we also need a card matches method, uh, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, and just looking at where this is, this card matches method, because it's inside an if, statement, uh, it needs to return a Boolean. All right, we're going to look through all the cards. And uh, the first card that's legal to play, it's going to return that card. So I can already see right now that strategy may not be optimum because it's going to just look at the first playable card and do it. Uh, that's not going to be the best strategy, but it's how we're going to write this for now. So here is draw for match. And this is if you, I think, don't, the match is not up at the moment. All right, so we still need this card of matches. So what is this draw for match going to do? It's going to first draw a card, then print out that card, and it's going to see if the card matches the one that was sent in. We're going to return card. Uh, 
and it keeps, this is in a while loop, so it's going to add the card right here to the hand. All right, we may have, a, I, I always get nervous when there's a while true because it can loop forever. How does this not loop forever? The return will make it not loop forever. So if we never hit this condition, we're gonna be stuck in an infinite loop. So that is a bit concerning to me. And let's go ahead. Put some Java docs here and I'm not being creative. I'm just basically pasting in what's here. This is not a uh, great practice, but I don't want to spend too much time right now uh, making the Java doc nicer. Okay. We need to know when there's a match. So that's this public static. So first of all, why is this static and where should it go? Now, if you notice, this takes two cards right here, card one and card two. So it's going to return true if the suits are equal. And this is an or, so if the suits are equal, it will just return true right there and be done. If the suits are not equal, it's gonna compare the ranks. If the ranks are equal, it'll return true. Or finally, if both of the first two are false, it's going to test is the card one rank eight, which means it's a wild card in that case. And if it's an eight, uh, it's gonna also return true. Now, if all three of these are false, this will return false. It's very tempting to put this inside of card, uh, our card class, card.java. Um, I'm gonna leave it here inside player, uh, but I definitely could put it inside of uh, card. Okay, so that should eliminate the error except for we don't know what eights are yet. So one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create the eights class in chapter 14 package. And that should, yep, should put eights right inside chapter 14 and it already opened it up. And that's what we're gonna be doing in the next section.